it's kind of weird. Well, I think it, I I'll think turn it, this car around. <laughs> yeah, I think it seems to be positioned like on on the straight, like ahead of them. So it wasn't it wasn't too far. I think they judged it uh, within like catching distance, which also seems kind of iffy because it's like you have your entire family in the car and you want to like speed up to like try and catch something. Like I I guess they were traveling at. Well, uh, highway speed. I don't know what the speed limit is on that, or even if they yeah, have a speed limit there. <laughs> There's no let's also imagine there. who's behind the wheel. It's probably one of the either 21 or 24 year old it's boys. Sean, like, he's 21. Fucking yeah. Give yeah. Her. Let's fucking yeah. go, boys. <laughs> Jimmy Barnes is bumping. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> bumps in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> White knuckled in the back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what they reported seeing as they kind of got near it and they they took in a bit more details about this craft was they said that this light that they were observing was shaped like an egg and it seemed to be moving just back and forth just tiny bits of just mm-hmm. above the road I mean, when and they I say egg, yeah you, when they say egg Dan, i just <laughs> i have to interrupt you here because they never say egg if you watch any interview interview with these people they go well what was the shape and like they all sit like dead silent just staring off in the distance and then one of them reluctantly goes like uh i don't know like this <laughs> Right, yeah, they make the they make the motion about like it's some kind of circular I'm like, shape. I'm like fucking circle, teardrop, egg, like just say any shape that it's close to. He's like, it's hard to explain. Uh, yeah, and I, yeah, I think the reports that uh, about this case, like uh, if you go into to research this case, is like people say egg, and, but they kind of get that from the shape that he draws in the air in the interview, and then also <laughs> the fact that they said like they described that the light was kind of white on the outside, and then on the inside was like it was a bit more yellowish, so like a well, you know a, a fried egg, I suppose. I don't know. And, like. <laughs> I kind of thought of it as um, like a teardrop shape, to be honest. From like the descriptions and stuff of, and how it moved that we're getting to later. Like I kind of pictured it in my head based on his, his circular his, and kind of drawing down that, like it was kind of like a teardrop or like a, like a, like a sperm kind of shape. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not so long of a tail, but <laughs> Uh, so as they, as they approach the teardrop the- and sperm are two very different shapes. Adam. <laughs> I don't think so. What are you talking about? Let me brain well, brain the, the one who puts the the star shape in the square the pen, the square hole. Yeah, but without the tail, it's like a fucking. It's going egg. back to the egg. Teardrop, teardrop. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stick with teardrop then. Yeah, yeah that, that's good. I think. Uh, so. Apparently what happened is that this this shape, as they got near to it, decided to come towards them and started maneuvering closer to their car. And Sean actually had to swerve and maneuver around uh, this object. And with this uh, with this sudden motion, uh, he, he it pulled him over into the, the opposite lane. And they say that he narrowly avoided crashing into another oncoming vehicle, which was like another car or truck <laughs> with, oh, that was pulling a caravan, a trailer behind it. It's like, if... if- if everyone wasn't awake, if everyone wasn't awake at this point already, I would have said, motherfucker fell asleep. <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> fell asleep at the wheel, right? Ah, there's an alien or something, but, right? Just as covering a shock. But the problem is, is everyone was already up and everyone was seeing this, right? And from the description, what I kind of pictured is as they're tailing this thing, this thing kind of just starts left and right as it's moving and then seemingly turns and just comes at them. He swerves. And then whatever this thing is, just pivots, turns, and is now on them, like tracking, following them. Right. So as they swerved to to maneuver around the, the light, the light went past them and then pulled a U-turn, like Brayden said, and now is pursu- seems to be pursuing their car uh at you know at, at a pacing speed behind them so uh sean you know checking the rearview mirror realizes that this this craft is turning around and coming back in their direction again uh sean guns it and says that he got up to in, in the reports i think he got up to about what 200 kilo kilometers kilometers and, per and hour i will and let's two things about this two things about going 200 kilometers an hour one uh Super fast, super dangerous. In what kind of car? In, this is Ford, Ford Telstar. Telestar. And <laughs> Telestar. Everyone, listen, everyone knows every car made before 2001 at about 160 just death rattle, just like like wow. your type of car. Wild type of car. It's a 
if, if you forgot what it looks like, Google, Google well, it's it right not now. built for speed. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> picture, yeah, picture <laughs> no. it trying to go 200k, and it's not. It's interesting it's though, because it's like apart. so. We, like we know that the boy, the, the family made a conscious decision. Like we're gonna follow this fucking light. So they're speeding well, up to follow it. Yeah, but it's not like it's it's deviating off, right? It's like no, no. Like, like, but yeah. but it's still like it's like it, it, they yeah. made the conscious decision. We're gonna follow this fucking light, and it's almost like the light realizes, hey, these motherfuckers are following us. Does a quick like an evasive maneuver, and fucking it's like now nah, who's following who, motherfucker? Yeah. Right. Like it's like maybe they would have just left them be if they wouldn't have made it obvious that they were trying to follow them. Or maybe put some sort of conscious thought out there. Yeah to it because all of a sudden kind of you're a threat in. you're like why are you following us you're a threat they see us what are we gonna do yeah exa- well that's a that's a good point i you know as we kind of get into some other points of this theory, i've got some other points that'll kind of tie into that so uh, apparently now before either before depending on which reports you read before or uh, you know a little bit after he decided to go you know full throttle uh, down the road, uh, Sean performed several U-turns in the road, but the objects seemed to stay on their tail the entire time. It's locked on, locked on yeah. target. And 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 during one of these, you know, one of they're trying to to escape. You know, they keep driving. They said that there was this large. The entire family heard like a large thump on the roof, thump or thunk. Dude, uh, one of the that would be fucking terrifying. Could you imagine you're like it? Gives me anxiety thinking about it. You're something's in pursuit of you, and you just hear like you're like it's on the roof. Something's well, on the roof. Think about like how, is there a more vulnerable position to be? You're seated, strapped into this moving vehicle, and something's on top of you. No. Like you, what are you gonna fucking do? You're doing 200 fucking kilometers. It's not like you can just jump out. Like oh man, that'd be terrifying. <laughs> What's well, like you? What do you do? Stop. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, uh, uh, what you do apparently is you do what Faye Knowles do and you reach outside to feel on top of the car to find out what had landed on your roof. Yeah, everybody it's, knows. That's like that's like sticking your hand underneath your bed. Yeah. You that. <laughs> that's the, the yeah. second worst thing you could possibly yeah, do. You, you don't fucking do that. Yeah. yeah, you drop you drop your charger at night, your charger cable at night. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. You buy a new one. Yeah, you buy a fucking new one. Yeah. That is. Until morning, buy a new one. I, yeah. I don't even I don't even step off my bed. I stand on it. And I take a running leap to the door. Yeah, <laughs> every time. You've installed like some like monkey bars. So you don't have to touch the floor. You can kind of get out of your room. A big swing out there. It's just one of them pull up bars that attaches or, to the. I grab it and swing myself out of the bedroom. Box springs straight on the ground. No bed frame. Yeah. And then I turn yeah. ready for a fight. Eliminate all possibilities. Yeah. Right. Just ready. So same same thing. Yeah. If you hear a thud on the roof while you're driving. So he sticks his arm out of the the She sees. She sticks her yeah. arm out onto the roof, and. She recalls finding something up there that wasn't supposed to be up there, and she described it as feeling either uh, a spongy or rubbery and hot to the touch. Like, oh, it's a, like the a, mist. A hot, a hot fucking sponge suction cup, like on top of your roof. Now, one of the things I couldn't f- f- quite figure out was well, why this account. It... Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, just like she says, she says it's hot and it's spongy. So it's almost like at the same time, like what else is, can be hot and spongy? Like flesh. Yeah. So oh, I, I like. also, I also think of like right away. I kind of thought of like this is some maybe some sort of living tissue. Yeah. Right. And then, the secondly, that I couldn't f- quite figure out was at this point in time, by the accounts I was reading. It's like they're st- still in pursuit. So I wasn't sure, or it's something still in pursuit of them. So I wasn't sure if this is you know, a separate object, or if this is the same object and they've lost the sight of the light for momentarily, right? I wasn't sure. So when Faye retracted her arm back into the car after touching whatever was on the roof, uh, it was gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a bone? <laughs> fucking blood spurting out. <laughs> um... No. What is it? You know that warmth was her own blood. That's yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, when she retracted her arm back in, it was uh, complete. It was intact. Uh, but it also was sporting a coating of some type of strange black dust, is what they described, um, on her hand. Uh, and then what another... It, it- Imagine from the descriptions, just to paint it a little picture, is like from the descriptions, I imagine if you put your hand in like a fireplace soot, 
right and pulled it out right. like all mm. that just like dusk particle it where it's like as you rub it it trying to goes from dust to like ch- like you know the charcoal on your skin and fingers and so now hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation you get full access to it on patreon anyways thanks guys enjoy the next video